There's a heat signature over here. Where'd that go? Uh, it, it looked like... He was frustrated because he didn't know what he was seeing. He didn't believe in Bigfoot. Uh, but this is where his very first sighting happened. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can't, I don't recall exactly where his encounter happened, where he got pushed. Mm -hmm. uh, when he came in to install a trail cam and, uh, you know, to hide it a little further in the forest at a gifting area. And he said uh, one walked up and pushed him. And uh, somewhere around this area here, a little further up the road. It that changes so fast out here. Because, you know, we were asking up there, you know, how would each one of us feel if we actually did visually encounter one mm -hmm. close in. And I have thought about that. And sometimes I feel like I imagine it as if, like, okay, yeah, I see you, you see me. You know, and he turns and walks away. Okay, got that. But if I'm a mile and a half, two miles up in the woods, did I catch enough of his facial expression? Like, where is he going? And what is he thinking? Is he looking at me like dinner? 
or circle back around and be like, hey, what's up, yeah. buddy? You know, so I think that I I understand, but I guess I, I'll, I'll find out when that time comes. Yeah, I tried to prepare myself to just be like, okay, look, nobody's getting dragged off into the woods and chopped and, and ate and left there, you know, broken. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. it doesn't happen. There are a lot of people that go missing that never get found. But, I mean, it's also pretty thick out here, so it's easy to get lost. But if we keep going down, so this was the location where he first had uh, his dick beside him. He said it was, it had like a white face to it. He, he got the impression, it was scarred up too, that it was an older mm -hmm. gentleman, an older Bigfoot. And uh, yeah, he took off in the woods this way, never to be seen again. Uh, but the other ones that he encountered was uh, more juveniles, uh, like say late teens and then early teens. So uh, a from, whole family of them in here. Yeah. Isn't that something? And you know, again, if you go on to Bigfoot, Tony has some really compelling evidence of when he had the GoPro face behind him, mm -hmm. and there's something you can see it like you can see it behind the tree. And they went and did a recreation, and it's there's no bush there that would have created that effect, and it's pretty fucking big. <laughs> so if we continue to go down here, I'm gonna kind of see where they. You know, actually, I was down in this area shortly after he told me. And this is uh, where I had the first Widowmaker fall by me. Like, it just crashed from the top of the trees and like, scared the shit out of me. I'm very likely what this
Yeah, so that phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get a beat on it. Okay. What am I looking at? We're good. I don't know why it's All right, we're good. I don't know why it's so hot. What'd you hear though? I didn't hear hers. I had a heat signature, but I was trying to decipher what it was because at the time it looked kind of like shoulders in the head. Mm -hmm. And as I was trying to go up and down, figure it out, I don't know why, but we're getting heat off one of the vines. At least that's what I, I think it is. Late afternoon sun, maybe. Well, I mean, notice that any penetration through the bark of a tree getting into the cambium and core layer into the woody part of the tree, and it could be insects too. High heat, it could be like an insect in there chawing around. And right on, we're going to continue out this trail, Brent. Uh, see where it goes. Let me pop this thermal away here in just a you know, any time we'll find a spot. We'll set up this uh, trail cam, just kind of leave it somewhere to overnight. That way, you ain't got to carry it a quarter of a mile. This, you know, I think this is probably a good spot right here. Yeah. You know, having it faced this way, like right there, so it'll cover whatever's coming right through here. Yeah. Look at my camera, Bill. Weird. How far back? Right along, right alongside that tree. I know it's just a mossy log, but right dead center. Yeah, I mean, there is a, a heat coming back, but I'm not getting a live heat. Right on. Yeah, I'm it's still- It's like a little game of mine to see mossy stumps and stuff, how well they look like Bigfoot. It ain't that I think they're Bigfoot. Yeah, they, <laughs> no, it's, it's a big thing, you know. But, I'm not gonna lie, there is a part of me that's saying one of these days something like that's just gonna get up and walk away and I'm gonna be like, damn, I'm glad I was recording. <laughs> <laughs> Think this would be a good place for an audio recorder or too much ambient so noise? Uh, the only downside is you're gonna have that background river. of the river. All right, and I'll choose a different spot. But you know, I, if we put it off over in here, uh, I don't know what the range would be for it. But, I mean, this is where, you know, the Bigfoot was when uh, Cascade Bigfoot talked about having an sighting. So, I think it's as good a place as any. You can actually see the show go, go back here a little bit. Something comes back here. Yeah, it's worn down. Yeah, another trail. Something had lunch, looks like, or toilet paper. 
cleanser. It's up to you if you think the river background is going to be a huge factor. It's probably further far away now. <sighs> I mean, I can come down here and grab it on my way out. Mm -hmm. You know, probably be the easiest. H1N. I knew that was going to happen. There's too much weight up on top. July 6, Washington State. First campground. The uh, story of um, the guy seeing the first Bigfoot down here.
Now usually what happens, or what has happened to me quite often, is uh, I'll walk away from the audio recorder and you'll hear something come up and check it out. Don't know exactly what it is, be a deer or whatever, but yeah. hopefully we pick something up. But you, you see the forest out there, right? The dense forest where there's no trails and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you think something covered in hair would walk through that, like, and not have hair ripped off? Well, it'd have to have one hell of a foot structure. I say that much. Yeah. And it just seems like uh man, it's a lot. There's a heat signature over here. Where'd that go? Uh it it looked like it must be a small animal. It'd have to have one hell of a foot structure, I'll say that much. Yeah. And it just seems like uh yeah, it's a lot. There's a heat signature over here. Where'd that go? Uh, it, it looked like... It must be a small animal. Here, take a look, clean right at that stump. At first I thought maybe it was looking at electronics, because that would give off heat. I didn't touch it, so... Huh. But I thought there was one right here. Just a little one. I don't know what that is. You know? Gotta be, maybe it could be leaves, like small little leaves. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get close with it real quick. Oh, <laughs> ah, jeez. <laughs> yeah, good thing I looked back there. You know you're getting tired when you don't recognize your own backpack. <laughs> Better recognize me like that than uh
while we're standing here, and I thought, oh my dear, Check and see what that other trail leads down here. This here just kind of leads to a little. Uh, what do you have to trout in here? Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. What's truly amazing right here is that you can feel the temperature drop, drop, drop. Man, if that moss up there isn't kind of freaky to look at. <laughs> it looks... I know, it says something. Yeah, right there, I kind of looked up, I was like, is that, is that a monkey? <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> well, it wasn't looking down, it must have hit the only spot that wasn't a rock down there. Still got trail? You still got trail there, or? What's that? Still got trail? Yeah, there's not much going on back there. Do you want to split up and we'll kind of like spread out and just set for a bit? Yeah. You want to?
Get away from the creek so we can probably have better hearing of what's going on. If we go back up to that, uh, we can put the audio in the cam. That's kind of far away from there so we can mm -hmm. you know, get better. We can always head out to that one spot where uh, I wanted to camp originally. Mm -hmm. Looks like the water gets really high at certain times. Floods are coming here. So this is all away. Spring runoff. Well, that one bridge, not this one, but the next one's the one that washed away, right? The one that we crossed. Yeah. Uh, to go over the actual main river. Yeah, that's one that washed away. That, that main road going up, uh -huh. you guys want to spread out up there? Sure. We can do that. Be further away from here and uh, I guess that's the really exciting location you want. Yeah, like I can see the, well, maybe I can't see it. A little hot spot in front of you. I thought it was the audio recorder again, but that's kind of far off. Flanked. But when I see like a return, it looks like an electronic. I, that intrigues me as well. Because you can spot, and it's probably just a small little rodent then, since I can't spot it again. Because you can spot electronics. Yes. With the exception of a trail cam. The only time you can spot the trail cam is when the IR illuminate, and even then, <clears throat> they're pretty cold. Cold, cold, cold. I used to set up my camera static in areas. I come back 
into the hardwood to try to find it and be able to find it, and that's how I found it in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little rocky. Do you hear something? Okay. So my camera to yeah. use up the whole SD card. There's an opening area. Um, you know, another stick just broke down there. Did you hear that? That was another stick just broke down there. I'm surprised you did not hear that. Mm -hmm. That was me.
Like this chunk of here, moss here has been ripped out? Is that what you're talking about? Huh? Like how this chunk of moss here has been removed? Uh, no, more of uh, something that, like the size of a blanket oh. for them. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, from the, you know, you can easily walk by it and it just looks like a little lump, you know, like rocks or a down tree or something. Because it's so thick out here. Options you can do from here. Yeah, I mean, we can go wherever. We can go I mean, wherever you guys want to sit and do. Because, you know, I mean, it's getting... We've got that maybe... Is it 8.30 right now? Uh, no, I think it's uh, 9.30. Really? Yeah. It's getting dark here by the time we sit down. Yeah. Yeah, 9.11. Well, let's hit that road. We'll go up top that mountain like you wanted to go up there. Hmm? Oh, I wasn't wanting to go up there. You got, I mean, hmm? I'll go with you, but... Okay. Hey? Well, we don't have to go up there. 
Oh, no, I'll go with you. I'm right inside for that one. Is your chance of falling off a cliff? Yeah. <laughs> Not on my top five things I want to do today. <laughs> this side uh, has more room. Okay. Slim chance of. How's that? How's he say that in Lord of the Rings? Slim chance of success, certainty of death, must not the love. 